I'm joined today by Christine McJunkin and Marissa Bell Lemus, the Principal Secretary Duo from Kennedy Learning Community in the Lindsay Unified School District in Lindsay, California. Just to give everyone watching some background, Lindsay Unified School District has been a client of the Breakthrough Coaches now for about the last 10 years. All of the district site and central office leadership teams have completed our coursework at least once, some multiple times, and Christine and Bell are currently in our one-year personal coaching program where they've been steadily practicing the skill of making and managing requests for about the last seven months. What's amazing about Christine and Bell's work is the school-wide automated request-making system they've built using the Google suite of tools. And they're here to tell us about it. So welcome, Chris and Bell. Hello. Hi, Jill. Hey, so ladies, you've been consistently practicing this skill of making and managing requests for a while now. Why did you choose to evolve your system from a paper system to an automated system? Very good question and easy answer. As we thought about how this practice of making and managing requests would work best for us, we knew we wanted to reduce the amount of paper floating around the office to both maintain our impeccable environment and to reduce the chances of losing any time sensitive tasks, projects or agreements in the shuffle. You can't hold others accountable if you've misplaced the record of what you've asked them to do. Secondly, we wanted to be agile and productive no matter where we were located. We wanted to build a request system that allowed Bell and I to hold a meeting anywhere, including on Zoom, and have the information we needed to talk about right at our fingertips. Lastly, we envisioned a system that was scalable because we knew eventually we wanted everyone in our building to be able to make and manage requests for each other through a tra trackable system. This would require a digital online tool. Wow, okay, very future focused ladies, so good for you. Tell me more about how you think about the request making process in your school, Bell. Well, we realized early on that we have three kinds of requests going on around us at the same time. So there's requests that Chris makes of me um, and the rest of the office staff. And then there's Chris, um, I'm sorry, there's requests that staff make of me as an office manager. Um, there are requests that staff make of each other. So we've created a request making and management system that tracks all of this. Um, it's comprehensive so that Chris and I can keep tabs on how the projects and tasks in our building are going. Smart, okay, Bell. So I know you worked closely with one of the IT specialists at Lindsay to develop your system. How did he help you? So what was great about working with Bobby or Blender Learning Assistant is that he insisted that I started telling him um, what I wanted the system to do. He promised me that if I gave him my criteria um, and what I wanted it to do, that he would build it for me, which is great because I would have never been able to digitally design this myself. I don't have that skill. Uh, he, the process of collaborating with him and building the system together forced me right off the bat to make a clear request of him. I knew that I wanted the system to make clear requests that include details, fulfillment dates, and keep record of all of the requests made. And this is what Bobby delivered to me. The system is everything I wanted it to, and it works like a charm. So what's the most important piece of advice you'd give to an administrative team who wanted to duplicate this process, Chris? Start small and test it regularly until you thoroughly know your system and trust it. We started simply with me making requests of Bell only until we worked out all the bugs. Um, then once we were in, a good, in good shape with each other, we started having staff use the system to make requests of Bell. Our goal was significantly to reduce the number of on-the-go verbal or casual sticky note requests people were making of her every single day. What's great about our system now is that Belle keeps an iPad on her door with a digital request uh, form that's queued up. So even if she's in a meeting, someone walking by can make a request of her according to the proper format that we've made and know that the request was received. After a good amount of time and practice, the last thing we did was to bring our staff request form online. The staff request form allows staff to make requests of each other in a systematic way. So, for example, our teachers use the staff request form to make requests of our librarian, our literacy coach, and because those requests no longer have to run through me first and they get cataloged in our accountability system, we are both solid in our practice. 
So Chris, how many requests would you say you're now making a day and tracking through to completion using this new system? On average, I'm making four to five requests, and I want to make sure I, I'm clear about that. That's on average. Some days there's more, some days there's less, but overall, four to five requests. And the most important thing about those requests is they're no longer to-do requests. I'm making uh, requests that are aligned to site actions or elements of instructions instead of micromanaging. Mm, okay, so how much time do you think you're saving each day by making that many requests and using a digital tool to manage it all? For sure, I know it's an hour because in my previous practice um, and before Breakthrough Coach, at the end of the day, I was going home and monitoring my to-do list. Mm -hmm. And um, so now this system allows us to have progress monitoring happening constantly. Um, so it, it essentially saves us about one to two hours for both of us because we know the why behind the action from the, um, what's going on. And we talk about it in the daily meeting to what is needed in order to carry out the action. Um, and how we how we actually carry it out with the how. So how much time are you spending on average per week in classrooms now, Chris? So I have a goal of three days a week. That's from the start of the day to the, you know, to the end of the day, into the school day. Um, and they're scheduled in. So Bell actually calendars those in and they're not negotiable. I'm in the rooms. And so I'm getting a solid three days a week. And if I have any additional time from my, you know, week, in my principal task, then it becomes a fourth day that Belle can put in as a coaching day. So she'll either carve that out for being in the learning environments or additional developer training that um, I can provide for other staff. Huh. So minimally, you're spending three days a week. That says it all. Ladies, just brilliant what you've done. Thank you for sharing with us what you've learned and take care and good luck as you finish out your school year. Thank you. Thank you.